Developing right now, the highest ranking UAW leader yet has been hit with sweeping charges in the corruption scandal. It's Joe Ashton charged with wire fraud and conspiracy to commit money laundering during his time as UAW General Motors vice president right after the bankruptcy. Rod Maloney following the story tonight. He's got new reaction from the head of the union. Rod. Behind me here is the massive, sprawling, beautiful UAW GM Center for Human Resources. Joe Ashton was in charge out here. And somewhere in the deep recesses of this building is a storage closet. And in that storage closet sit 50,000 custom-made UAW watches. And it turns out those watches are at the heart of this scandal. Retired UAW Vice President Joe Ashton served from 2010 to 2014. He also held the union seat on the General Motors Board of Directors until 2017. The feds say he cooked up a scheme with his two closest associates. In the middle here, Jeffrey Paterzik, co-director with Ashton of the CHR, and on the right here, Michael Grimes, Ashton's administrative assistant. The information claims Ashton's chiropractor, whom they're calling Vendor B, had a business. Ashton convinced Vendor B to give one of his construction business buddies a quarter of a million dollar loan. The contractor defaulted. So Ashton allegedly suggested that Vendor B get a custom UAW watch contract to get paid. That contract priced out at the Fed say at just under three million dollars. Then they say Ashton had Jeffrey Petrizik rig the bid on the contract and inflated another million dollars. Then the information says Ashton demanded vendor B pay him kickbacks which netted him a quarter of a million dollars with the vendor B driving to Ashton's home on a regular basis to make the payoffs. The feds also say Ashton made certain vendor B cut Grimes and Petrizik in on the deal. They're both pleading guilty and awaiting sentencing. It, it is shocking and very disheartening at the same time. Interim UAW President Rory Gamble says it's personally disgusting and he's ready to radically change the union's direction. We don't have time to play around. We don't have, we don't have time to uh, uh, um, continue discussing what we should be doing. We have to start implementing the things that we should have been doing years ago to protect this great organization. His biggest concern, how to keep the feds from coming in and taking over the union. It's going to get ugly before it gets better, but that's what we have to do. Um, this is a very serious thing. It means a lot. It impacts all of our members. Now, as for the Center for Human Resources, that building is going to be sold off as part of the new national contract, but the programs for Ford, GM, and Chrysler in the training area will remain. But as it stands right now, Gamble says that he absolutely is going to change everything, including staff and accounting practices in those units, because he says, frankly, they have to. GM, in the meantime, said it is deeply disturbed by Joe Ashton's alleged criminal conduct and says it was not aware of any illegal activity until they heard about it from the federal government. Reporting live, Rod Maloney. Local four. Wild. All right, Rod. Our other top story at this hour sentencing day for a man who is accused.